Hi everyone, I welcome you all to the first episode of Professor Joginder Singh's podcast. My name is Puneet Kaur. I'm Professor Joginder Singh's granddaughter and today on this auspicious day of Visakhi, I present to you his first article called Khalsa Sijjana. Guru Gobind Singh ji is the 10th form of Guru Nanak Dev ji, both in spirit and actions. Neither there is separation nor discrimination between the two. Both gurus are the incarnations of the same soul. In Guru Parampara or tradition, Guru Nanak Dev Ji is the primal guru laying the foundations of Sikhism and Guru Gobind Singh Ji is the tenth and the last guru in human body form. Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Guru Gobind Singh Ji do not have any duality in beliefs and neither there is any conflict in their thinking or preaching. Both believed in one God and worshipped Him. Their soul and thinking is the same. Both had and shared the same experiential learning and intellectual direction. Both their journeys complemented and provided completion to each other. If Guru Nanak has laid the foundation of Sikh religion, established pillars of a holy community known as Sangat, Congregation, Amrit, Immortal Nectar, and Shabad Guru, the word of Guru, then the 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Singh, has shared his wisdom on these pillars, promoted their sanctity and compiled all the teachings and learnings into a holy religion. In Guru Parampara, the legacy and tradition of Sikh Gurus, Guru Gobind Singh's contribution, makes him the creator and founder of the Khalsa Panth who brought together all Sikhs and defined their identity without any discrimination. One of the creations of Guru Nanak Dev Ji and all the Gurus that followed him was of a pure Panth. A pure Panth was also the path of the Gurus, a pure Panth was also in Sikh Sangat or in congregation and in all the organizations, groups organized by the Gurus. Members of this pure Panth were those who were able to accept and adapt every aspect of their lives on the basis of path shown by the Gurus and were able to bathe in the Amrit, the holy water of Guru's path. A person who is able to bathe in this Amrit, the holy water, is pure and religious. He is free of the rogue of ego, he is free from vices and temptations or vikars, he is not dependent on any religious middlemen, he is not afraid of anybody, nor is he a slave to greed or any other animal-like temptations. Such a person prefers to be a servant of God and Guru rather than be bonded to the government or the ruler. Guru Gobind Singh Ji invited all these followers of Guru Nanak Dev Ji and his Nirmal Panth on Visakhi 1699 in Nantpur Sahib and provided completion to the thought process of creation of Khalsa. The birth of Khalsa was not a result of any historical event or a reaction to any train of events. Neither was it born to protect any other religion. Khalsa is a force of God and this force was born out of God's desire to see his creation in full bloom and not out of any human magic or creation. This is the reason that Khalsa has never worshipped a ruler or any other human. Khalsa always lives the path of a pure Panth, lives a life of worship and Amrit and follows the do's and don'ts of the pure Panth. Guru Gobind Singh Ji took the first five followers who offered their heads, the Panch Pyaras, and administered them Amrit to make them Khalsa. He enjoined them to observe five things and stay away from four things. These are known as Raheta and Kurheta. These Raheta and Kurheta not only make the blessed follower a religious person, but also make him a member of the Guru Khalsa's force and inspire him to not only participate but also to excel in all social sectors of the world. Guru Gobind Singh Ji's creation of Khalsa is a fundamental, revolutionary and historic accomplishment in the world history. His enormous pride and excitement on the birth of Khalsa can be guessed from the events that followed after the baptism of Panch Pyaras. After blessing the Panch Pyaras with Amrit, the holy water, Guru Gobind Singh Ji requested all five of them to prepare Amrit for him and make him a member of God's army and allow him to become a beneficiary of God's benevolence. Sikh history is also a witness that Amrit was prepared according to tradition and was administered by the Panch Pyaras to Guru Gobind Singh Ji and he was made a part of Khalsa. After becoming a part of Khalsa, not only did Guru Gobind Singh Ji create 
through his benevolence the khalsa principles khalsa physical and mental makeup and khalsa organization but to ensure khalsa survival and prosperity he also sacrificed his entire family and uttered the words khalsa mera khas roop hai khalsa is my special appearance i live in khalsa i am khalsa and khalsa is me guru gobind singh ji destroyed his ego and self and accepted shabad guru khalsa as his guiding light i thank you all for listening to our first episode in the next episode we will connect you with the history of sri anandpur sahib stay tuned